What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how you can separate multiple colors from a PNG or JPEG image in Cricut Design Space. Let's start by uploading our JPEG or PNG. I'll choose the option labeled Complex and Continue. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Select and Erase wand located at the top left, the Erase tool, the Advanced Options, and the Preview button. Now our goal is to remove every color, leaving only a solid outline. With the wand tool, I'll select the color to remove it. If I zoom in and click preview, you'll see a few rough edges were created. This is a common obstacle found with low res images. To fix this, we either have to use the erase tool and erase any rough patches or raise the color tolerance under the advanced options. And while both work great, I prefer raising the color tolerance, which basically chips away a wider range of similar colors, thus removing rough areas and smoothing them out. Let's continue removing the rest of the colors. It's very important that you click preview after each color removal. Many times the color tolerance will have to be higher or lower. Lastly, I'll remove the background and erase anything that won't be needed. Preview it one last time and click continue. Choose the save as a cut image option and click save. Select your image and click insert images. The first thing I do is create a registration box using the square shape. I'm going to align the registration box slightly above the top of the design and just a bit away from the side. I highlight both and click Weld. Select your image and align the X and Y position to zero. Click on Contour located at the bottom right. In this window, I'll select each shape that belongs with its corresponding color. But first, I'll hide all contours which will give me a base where I can layer the rest of the colors. If you're using registration marks like me, make sure it's selected in each colored layer. Either by hovering over the shape and selecting it, or by finding it in the list of shapes. Exit out the contour window to finalize your selection. But just know that you can always open up the contour window if you want to remove or add a shape. Let's duplicate this layer and move on to the next color, which is his red sweatshirt. Select every shape that needs to be red and deselect everything that doesn't belong in that color group. Then I'll change the color of that layer accordingly. Position that layer to 0, 0 and you'll slowly see it come together. Duplicate the layer again and repeat that process for every remaining color. When I'm done, I'll select all layers and resize them if needed. And now you have multiple colors made from a JPEG or PNG. It's simple as that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.